Fry's is closing for good. The Northern California based electronics chain, known for its wild themes, says it can't hang on anymore. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf with why they're pulling the plug. I came and sat here at 935 hoping that they're going to open and then they're not doing anything like no wait y'all said you were liquidating I'm here to get the sales. <laughs> <laughs> Toshiba Francois came looking for a deal and was dissed. Nothing. That's disappointing. All 31 Fry's stores across nine states closed effective immediately. Are you a customer? Not any longer, it would seem. <laughs> Including this one in Roseville. Customers arrived at the store this morning to find the doors locked and this sign right here on the door. The iconic Bay Area retailer opened in 1985 and specialized in computer parts, video equipment, and everything in between. Corporate says the closure comes as a result of changes in retail and problems posed by the pandemic. I've retired from uh, Fry's Electronics about three years ago. Vernon Shuplin worked as a customer service and sales supervisor over returns at the old Northgate store. I miss everybody there, but not enough to want to go back. <laughs> But he saw the writing on the wall years ago. This competition, and for some reason, uh, either uh, Fry's can't handle it or decided not to take any steps that would overcome that. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to get my pieces and parts I need. No Radio Shack, no Fry's. On the company's website, customers with repair questions or service contract issues are asked to email or call a 1 800 number. Not good enough, says Francois, who goes on to say this new way of doing retail is taking away the people portion. The interaction, we don't have that anymore. Like, you literally have to go online to look at what you want, and then when with Amazon, if you don't like it, sometimes you can't send things back. Well, Fry says that they are in the process of reaching out to customers who had repair contracts as well as consignment vendors.